that is a excellent hubcap. It's in it is flawless condition. I dug up a Mustang hubcap on the other end of the dump, clear at the other end of this, but it was all ruined. But it would have been a great find. But yeah, it was. Father Time was not kind to that hubcap. So right here, you're getting a few automotive things right here below this car. But man, I just got a beautiful marble. Boy, look at that. I found a few that were different than this. The patch is different. Seemed like the lines were more striking than this one because it's kind of like fades into the. Right? It's like a real strong red, orange, and almost yellow. So I, I think it's like the same kind, but it's just a different. It looks different, but I think it's probably the same company. If you got any thoughts out there? Give me a, give me a holla. You know, tell me what you think. I'm by no means am I a marble expert, right? But you know, if this was a some kind of a late archaic side notch, I could tell you. <laughs> I I know all about that stuff, and I've learned a lot of things about you know bottles and collecting. It's not like I don't read up on it. You know, I have to be honest. I I do my fair share of uh, research here, buddy. <laughs> stuff i like to do that sort of stuff but that's a nice one there you go darn good marble so we're gonna get after it happy halloween <laughs> look at that orange man and it's another like white you know base i haven't cleaned this up yet this is the way i found it i mean i rubbed it on my shirt a little bit but it'll clean up even better this thing is perfect man oh man that's nice. It's got like swirls in it. Man. That's nice there, buddy. Super nice marble. So, marble number two, everybody. Marble number two. Oh, well, I've had to, I earned it. Look, I dug out two different carpets. Yeah. That's like, uh, like that indoor, outdoor, uh, fake grass, uh, lawn carpet <laughs> and then some kind of house carpet but man i've gotten down a pretty good layer buddy some corks jump out of there here's another bottle that i'm gonna keep right here right. on top of that i'm taking that hubcap too but look at that everybody a green like certo it doesn't say certo on it but it's green and it's just like one of those certo bottles Right, for preserving um, fruits, trying to make jelly, stuff to make jelly with, preserves. That's pretty cool. I'm going to keep that one because it's green. For, I've seen a, like amber and a dark brown, uh, almost yellowish also, but never a green one. So there you go. See ya. All right, everybody. Getting her done. Connors. Coshocton, Ohio, it says full Ohio on it. Doesn't have a badge, but it has that embossed script running across it. No cracks, no chips. She's good to go, everybody. Nice milk. It's got that great big top on it. Got a big C on the bottom for Coshocton. That's a pretty nice one. I'd like to be able to top that, but you know, if let's say I was out and about and hitting some other place, this would be a day maker. So we're good to go, everybody, already at Marble and this. A couple of real solid finds. And I've got all kinds of other stuff. That hubcap, I like that. That green bottle. Check this out. I'm taking this. It's green. That is a green mason jar. Wow. No, those are scratches. Gosh darn it. I was gonna say, wow, that thing's got whittling. No, well. Yeah, I'm not taking it, but it's green, everybody. It's, a, it's got no embossing on it at all. This, it's, you know, your standard mason size. 
Yeah, there's some bad scratches on it, but there is some crazy whittling. That is whittling right there. That, that's not. That's a big old scratch. Scratches right there. But that's different, isn't it? Green. I mean, look at the bottom of it. I don't know if you can see that. That light's catching it, but that's pretty neat. A very odd jar indeed. <laughs> that's a weird one there, buddy. This little cork flask. Um, I got another one over there. It's kind of a bigger size. So I've gotten a few cork. Jeez, oh, I can't believe it. That's ridiculous here, buddy. That's one of the prettiest marbles I've ever found. That's stupid awesome. She many peats. It's just fantastic. So that's number three for keepers. I found another one that was completely melted blue. I mean, it was ruined. It looked like a, it was flattened and just completely gone. But I've just had another collapse here, so I'm going to have to... I'm going to get me a drink of water. Take a, a bit of a breather, I guess. Maybe a little breather. And, um, you know, get back on it. But as you can see, I wish this would have been in better shape. Look, it's got a great big crack running down it. That would have been real nice. That's real heavy. That's nice. Super nice. Yeah, but there's no maker's marks on it or nothing. That big crap crack running down the side of it. The turn off. Broken. Dr. Caldwell's. Look at it. That's always fun to play with. So I've had to fight through two carpets and all this. And now I'm into this. These roots. But oh my gosh, everybody. Do you see this? Look at this thing. That's crazy awesome marble, man. Blue. Bluish. I don't know. It's like grayish blue. Right with a solid white background. You can see the rust staining on it right there. Man, this thing is sweet. I'm trying to get where you can see. I'm in a bad spot. You know, the sun just beating down on me. But this thing's just freaking awesome. I can't believe it. So there's that fourth marble. What's going on, man? I'm, I should just go and buy a big lottery ticket today. <laughs> I can't believe it. So it's weird. Life's weird, everybody. Man, it's stranger in fiction. At least my life is. I've been hot, red hot in three days. In three days, back-to-back -back evening digs. I dug up points. Good, pretty good ones. And yesterday was a stinking smoker. And then today, I mean, man, some really good marbles. Four of them. I'm in them, everybody. I am in them. I mean, uh, there's another one, so I got to dig this out more. So I'm pretty sure I saw the flash of a white and blue one. It's down in there. I mean, it's deep. You can see I'm way back. I'm clear back in here. And I'm using the length of the rake to get all the way down into here. But man, they're coming out right here, everybody. I'm, it's, you know, the marbles are to my left and they're backed up. What happened was, I guarantee it. That when they came down the hill, right, when they got dumped out, they hit this car. They were all this stuff, this old car that's buried down in here, everything got blacked or blocked up right into it. Man, that's <laughs> that's bigger than the other ones. Yep, that's pretty nice. I gotta clean it up better, but I'll take that. Another nice one. It's a little bigger than the rest of them. It's a bigger one. Yeah, I'm gonna stay on it there, buddy. Man, I'm excited now. I'm getting them. That's marble number five. See ya. Good segue, right, to let you know that I will be having a Halloween special. <laughs> and that slab right there is a good segue for it. You're gonna be surprised if I dug up out of this dump, but I'm not. Because if you've ever, you know, if you've been watching this channel, 
you've seen me dig up quite a few embalming fluid bottles, quite a few slabs of uh, that sort of memorial stone. So, yep, it'll be a good Halloween special there, buddy. A good one. So, I'm going to get back on it. See ya. Buddy, that is it. Your buddy here is done. Another good dig. Yeah, a really good milk bottle. And, you know, five marbles, which is a lot more than usual. But I'll go ahead and we'll end this. There we go. There's your old Conjola bottle. Mosby, Mosby Medical Co., Cincinnati, Ohio. Conjola. This guy was a quack. You know, he sold his elixir to people. He turned them into drug addicts. He didn't care what he sold to the public. He got sued by the government when he moved to California. The guy had a good-looking old lady, everything to live for in life, and... You know, for some reason, right, he just didn't fly straight. It cost him. He died in the street. You know, so that's it, everybody. Pretty good dig. We'll see you on the next one.